people out in the, in the world huh, would say to me, the reason we like you is you don't seem like an actor. Hmm? And maybe out of, the, out of the conflict, out of the pain, out of the tears and the agony and the terror, it makes one whatever one is. I'm writing about all this. I'm proud of my writing, not my acting, my writing. Sterling Eden s'est éloigné à tout jamais de la baie de Sosalito que domine la maison où il vivait seul. Le cinéma avait pourtant fait mourir Sterling Eden plus qu'à son tour, à commencer par Quand la ville dort, le film de John Huston, où il promenait sa silhouette de loser taciturne. Par la suite, il avait continué à imposer son personnage d'homme sans racines dans Johnny Guitar de Nicolas Ray et l'ultime Razia de Stanley Kubrick. On l'avait vu aussi dans Docteur Folamour de Kubrick toujours, Le privé d'Altman et 1900 de Bertolucci. L'image de Sterling Hayden restera pour tous comme l'une des plus bouleversantes du cinéma américain. Vous vous souvenez, nous l'avions filmé dans sa maison de Sosalito. San Francisco, hein? Yeah. I hit this town 40 years ago. I came up from, from the city of the Angles. You're kind of far from Hollywood here, right? I think about as far as you can get, in a way, hein? Huh? Sometimes when you get too far, you miss part of it. Here, I don't miss nothing. This satisfies me, this place. Um, yeah. Do you have nothing but bad memories of Hollywood? No, no, I have some good memories. But uh, not as good as most people who work in the business, because I was never really a part of the business. I lived down there. Uh, For quite a while, I lived, I lived down in San Pedro on, an, on, a, on a schooner. And then I remember in 49, I, I, I got a chance to work in a picture called Asphalt Jungle, which you may have heard of, with John Houston. And my agent said, hey, look, kid, if you're serious about being an actor, you better move up into town here. So I went up to Mandeville Canyon and rented a house. Marilyn Monroe lived there later. Um, And then I lived in different houses around L.A., renting, always renting. Hmm? She was in Asphalt Jungle, was she? That was her first film, I believe, her first primary film. Huh? I remember the day she came on the set, yeah. It stopped business. Hmm? Everything stopped. Uh, do you consider Asphalt Jungle your, your first real part? Hmm. I mean, your... It was the first time I really took it seriously, you know, because I sort of did a funny thing. Unlike anybody that you or anybody might ever talk to. I started up near the top and worked my way down. Hmm? Usually you start down here and you work up. Huh? I started in 1940 at Paramount with Madeleine Carroll, became my first wife, Fred McMurray, big picture called Virginia. Huh? Technicolor, da 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 da. And I didn't know my ass from my elbow. Hmm? I didn't know which way upstage was. I was halfway through my second picture and the director says, Mr. Hayden, take two steps upstage, and I went the wrong way, you know? Then when I got that thing with, with, with Houston, with John, something said to me, hey, and I think I put this in my first book, if you're going to be here, maybe you should learn what the hell you're doing. Hmm? So then I, uh, I, I, I was sort of serious. Huh? <laughs> How did you learn? I mean... Oh, I don't know. At least I tried a little bit, you know? Before that, I think I just... Um, I knew I didn't know what I was doing. Which is a funny thing, because I don't think there are any other businesses in this world where you can be paid very good money and so-called semi-starred or whatever, and you don't know what you're doing. Hmm? How come you found in this position being a star right from the, from the start? I, mean... I didn't think it was really, I couldn't take it seriously because it seemed so ridiculous. It seemed so uh, crazy, you know what I mean? I remember after that first picture, 